I'm just going to demonstrate how to cut a cat's claws. The best way to restrain a cat is on your lap where you can use your arm just to restrain them. Cats have retractable claws so you need to put a little bit of pressure on the bottom pad just to encourage the nail to come out. So we're just putting a little bit of pressure, can you see there the nail? Just retracting out. And when you're cutting cat's claws you must cut them the term we use is perpendicular, so that's top to bottom. If you cut them side to side, you squash them and they may shatter because cat's nails are quite delicate. We need to make sure we don't cut the quick. The quick is the blood vessel within the nails and generally on cats it's very, very visible. Let's see if we can find it here. So it's just the pink within the nail. So we're going to locate the quick and we're going to cut top to bottom. You need to do it quite swiftly because if you squeeze the nail, the animal senses that there's a little bit of pressure on the nail and will pull away. So again, we're going to squeeze the pad, help the nail come forward and we're going to cut it top to bottom. If the cat becomes agitated, just stop and just do a couple and start again. Even if it takes you a couple of days to get a cat's claws all completed, that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to continue around here, just squeezing the pad, extending the nail, and cutting it top to bottom. Cats also have dew claws, so we need to just make sure that they're kept nice and short as well. On the whole, generally cats' back feet don't do any damage so we generally don't cut back claws on cats, just the front. You can see she's quite settled with that. 